In this video, let's learn how to update score after collecting items. Last video, player can collect orange items. Let's show score after collecting them in this video. First, let's add some text, Test Max Pro UI. Test Max Pro is not inside Visual Scripting yet, we must import it. Now it's ready to use. Next, select Test Object to edit it. Hold and and click on top right to align it to the corner. Change its text to score 0. Edit its font size and position as you want. In TasteMate Pro, you can add stroke or shadows as well. Let's turn on our light and adjust its value. This is in light stroke. You can use dilate to expand text bigger. Let's turn off our light to add shadow instead. Under light is option for shadow. Offset x, y are the angle and distance of shadow. Dilate and softness are size and brightness. Let's add a thin outline to select score object and add new visual scripting script. Name is score. Next, add a variable to add the score every time orange is collected. We use on fix update to update the score every some frames. To update the text, use set text. But our text object is Text Max Pro UI. Select Text Max Pro UI set text. This is object holding Text Max Pro component. It will be the score object. Input string will be the text you want to update. We will update it with value of variable my score. Because my score is an integer, input set text is a string. We need to convert integer value to a string value. Score text has been updated successfully. Next step, after collecting orange item, add one to my score. Open collect item script from orange. After player touch on an orange, destroy that orange. Before destroying this orange, add one to my score variable. We are going to add a custom event that can trigger on score object. Name it as score. To trigger this custom event on score object, we need to add score object to this input. Add name of object score in. This is how to add a custom event to another object. Next, open script on score object and paste the custom event here. Now, let's add one 
จูปริโบกไมสกอร์ press play to test it You can see the score was updated, and p a r i b o my score was updated too. When you go to the next map or next screen, the score has not been saved. And reset to zero. To save a variable to the next screen, we are going to use a variable instead of using object variable. Name it score app with an integer value. Now replace this score object variable with new app variable. Update score with a value of f variable, and only paint a score to. Press play to see the result. You can see value of f variable from any visual script and script. Now let's try to go to the next screen. Score is saved for the next screen. Next, try to close the game and open it again. Score is reset to zero. Open script from score object again. This time, instead of using app variable, let's use saved variable that can save on values even game is closed. Create a new saved variable, score saved from initial tab with a type of integer. Do the same on save tab. Initial is the default value. Saved tab shows the current values. Of the variable. Now replace on score app variable with the new saved variable. Sometimes save variable will not work in some reasons, so you need to add note save variables. To fix it, press play to see if it can save the score when game is closed. Score is updated correctly. Now try to go to the next screen. The score is saved for the next screen. Try to close the game and open it again. The score is saved for the next time game opened successfully. Now you know how to collect items and update the score completely. Thank you for watching.